the All-American Qualifiers, presented by This is an Eagle, winner of the Grade 2 Sam Houston Futurity and Grade 1 Placed. And by Granada Farms, also standing two-time champion Flying Cowboy 123. Fastest Qualifier Day 2, Doing Something Good. Doing Something Good is the latest star from a long-time collaboration. 91-year-old Sue May heads her family's ownership group, and 80-year-old Fred Danley handles the training. Fred's been training for us for many years. We have gotten along just great. <laughs> We've had a lot of success and, and lots of thrills along the way. But doing something good has a chance to provide the biggest thrill of all. He could not have been more perfect than he was in his trial. There, right. clean break, doing something good fast early. It's doing something good, the one to beat. To the outside is AP Scout. To the inside, we have a major apolitical and just a political girl. Then a political favorite, doing something good, is in a race of his own. Doing something good dominates and wins by almost three. That flawless performance came after an erratic trip in the Z of Futurity. He's had trouble every time he's run. I mean, just little things that's happened just cost him, and one of these days he's going to get things straightened out and he's going to blow them away. We changed a bit on him, changed equipment a little bit, and, and uh, just went from there, and it worked out super. Sue May's son, Doug, bought the New Mexico bread for $110,000 from the Rudos Select Sale. Now, can doing something good pull off the extraordinary? Well, that's almost beyond words, Tom. It would be the thrill of all thrills to a horse race owner <laughs> to win the All-American. Tune in to the Cowboy Channel for complete live coverage of the All-American Derby and Futurity on Labor Day weekend.